Hello, I'm Hita Prakash and uh, welcome to the Deccan Herald's third edition of the Bengaluru 2040 Summit. Here with us is uh, Mr. Rusty Worley, the CEO of uh, JSW, JSW's Inspire Institute of Sport. Hi, good afternoon. Um, thank you for being here, sir. And uh, my first question, you have traveled the world and seen many cities with uh, great sporting culture. So what do you think uh, Bangalore can do to be the sp sporting hub of the country? I think uh, Bangalore has an exciting opportunity to, you know, uh, build on uh, what is already happening in the city. We have many franchise teams, Bengaluru FC, my favorite football team. We've got the torpedoes, the volleyball team. We've got the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, 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 the Kabaddi team, the Bulls. So I think, you know, there is already a sporting culture within uh, Bangalore, giving it an opportunity to create more facilities and infrastructure within the facility, uh, within the city will create a much better, uh, you know, uh, culture around the city. Right. And uh, when it comes to your participation, you know, in uh, making it a sporting hub, a private entity, um, what, what kind of an important role do you play? You know, we play a we play a small role, to be quite honest with you, and and the reason why I say that is because there should be while IAS is one facility, there should be a hundred such facilities, not only around Karnataka but around the country, in order for us to you know for India to take its uh, place on the sporting uh, on the sporting global stage. So for us, I mean, working with the authorities, working with the state government, working with the national government, sports authority of India, to support the development of uh, more high performance institutes, we believe we have the expertise in that particular field to allow young talent to flourish. Right, and uh, this is also the Olympic year, right? A uh, big year for all of us and uh, Olympic sport, at least in the last decade in India, has uh, reached uh, heights that we have never experienced before. So what do you have to say about that? Obviously, it's a very. I think it's a very exciting time for Indian sport as a whole. Uh, I think you know when when we saw Niraj in 2021 at the Olympic Games, uh, hurl the javelin and win a gold medal. It was sort of a ceiling, uh, a glass ceiling that was broken. And you walk around and you're seeing all these young athletes with a level of self-belief and understanding that they are as good as everybody else in the world. They don't. There's no need to feel inferior. Um, and I think a lot of what we do at IAS is about inculcating that kind of thought process and that kind of belief that you know here in India we have talented athletes we've got great facilities we've got great coaches that allows people to you know to be the best versions of themselves and that best version of themselves as we have seen uh, whether it be Niraj or Sri Shankar Murli or Avinash Shable who trains right here in Bangalore Parul Chaudhary again training out in Bangalore um, you know these are athletes that have performed on the world stage and it's something really to be proud of so uh, I think uh, you know there's lots of uh, excitement around that there's lots of self-belief and I'm sure India will continue to grow and develop um, world-class athletes Right, on that positive note, uh, thank you so much for your insights uh, about the panel and about the subject that we're talking about. Uh, uh, again, thanks to uh, Mr. Rusty Wally for uh, being here and uh, uh, talking about the panel that's just going to happen in a bit.